hello beauties you're welcome back to my channel this is hbs today i'm going to be showing you how to make an organic um, base cream if this is your first time on my channel please kindly subscribe to my channel and do well to hit the notification bell so you get notified each time i make videos like this okay guys so this is an organic lightning base cream this cream is made from scratch from the beginning to the end everything is organic and this cream is so creamy and it contains whitening powders and it's so good you can use this cream on your skin directly on your skin without promising it and you can also promix it for more whitening effect okay so if you want to know how i made this cream you want to stay to the end of this video don't go anywhere okay so let's get into the video right now without um talking too much i just want to introduce you to my impedance you all know that um if you're making a lotion you need e-wax you need steric acid here i'm measuring out my e-wax e-wax is an emulsifying wax that binds your um what oil in water or water in oil emulsion so i'm going to be using six percent of e-wax then moving on i'll be measuring my um steric acid so steric acid is also very good in your emulsion as a thickener so it gives the the lotion a thick and um, jelly effect so i'll be using steric acid i'll be measuring out um steric acid i'm using four percent of steric acid okay that's that so moving on I would also be using city alcohol city alcohol is also a co-emulsifier it works perfectly when you're making um, a base cream it's also taking the lotion and um, okay so city alcohol I'll be using 3% of city alcohol moving on these are my oils I'll be using papaya oil in here I have papaya oil rosemary and um, sunflower and carrot oil that is what I have in here so you can see the apps in it I've not strained it so I'm just going to use my cheesecloth to strain the apps from the oil because I wouldn't want any particles so having done that I'm going to just turn in the um, the oils into my uh, waxes and um, I'm going to melt it down on a double boiler. Okay, so I'll just um, go ahead to measure out my water. You want to use distilled water for your um, lotion so if you're making any cosmetics products you want to use distilled water not tap water so i'll be using 53.5 percent of distilled water if you have any hydrosol you can use any any form of hydrosol you have but right now i just want to i have hydrosol but i just want to go ahead and use only distilled water because this base cream i'm actually going to promix it so by then i'll introduce my um hydrosols so right now i just want to go in with my distilled water so i just want to divide the water get a little that i'm going to use to dissolve my whitening actives so i'll just measure out the water then 
I'm going to eat up the water as well. Okay, so you want to make sure that your measurements are all correct. They are accurate. Everything is equivalent to 100%. And I'm making a 1000 gram batch of um, a lightning base cream. So everything is measured out and I'm going to melt it down right now on a double boiler. Okay, so moving on, I'm going to be measuring out my whitening active. So I'll be using niacinamide, I'll be using vitamin B3. So I'll just be using um, that at um, 5%. in your lotions in your cream applying it on your skin in your serums and all that niacinamide is so so good the ph is so perfect for every skin type and it has lightening properties it works for acne and pigmentation and so on so i love working with niacinamide so that is why i'm using niacinamide in my base cream So I'll just go ahead to add distilled water to niacinamide to dissolve it. So then I'm going to introduce it to, to dissolve the niacinamide because I want a clear solution. Okay, so... This is my clear solution of... Uh, niacinamide dissolved in water. I'll be going uh, ahead to add my um i'll be using a lantern powder okay so this is a lantern powder a lantern powder is also really very good in your creams and your lotion you, you can just google the benefit because i don't want this video to be too long so i just don't want to be talking and talking so uh, a lantern is very good too it's water soluble so i'll just be adding it to my um niacinamide solution Okay, so I'll advise that if you want to make a lotion, you can just, you know, all these um, DIY recipes on YouTube, you can follow those um, recipes if you're making your soaps and all that. But when it comes to lotion, lotion is very sensitive. You cannot just be using a DIY recipe while making a lotion. You can end up arming yourself or damaging your skin. So I would advise that you go for a proper training before you make an emotion. Before you make a lotion. Before you make a lotion, please go for a training, proper training on how to, you know, um, convert your percentages and how to convert your grams to percentages how to write out your recipes and all that before you formulate a lotion and how to use all these whitening actives before you formulate a lotion please guys okay so moving on i'll just measure out my cool down phase i'll be using vitamin e um propylene glycol and um glycerine for my cool down face so i'll just be measuring that out and i'll step i'll um, just keep that aside so now i'm going to perform my water in oil emulsion which is making a lotion or a cream 
so thereabouts now i'm just doing that you want to mix your water in um bit by bit then you want to use your um your spatula or whatever you're using to uh, make your lotion you don't want to introduce too much air by using stick blender all through so or your mixer all through so i'll just be mixing with my spatula then i'll introduce my stick blender for a while then i'll also go back in with my spatula So as you can see, I would um, stick blend for some seconds, then stop it and just keep turning without uh, putting on the blender. Then after a while, I will uh, on it and stick blend again because I don't want to introduce too much air bubbles into my lotion. Okay guys, so the lotion looks running because it's still very warm. So I'm just going to add in my actives. That's the vitamin B3 and um, alantum powder. So I'm just going to add in that and mix, keep mixing. Then when the lotion is um, a bit cool, I'm going to be adding my cool down phase at a certain temperature so the lotion has been staying for a while now you can see the change in the texture Okay guys, so before I add in my cool down phase, I have to check the temperature of this um, um, cream. I have to check the temperature of this cream before I actually add in my cool down ingredients. So if your measurement is accurate, you will realize that at the end of this formulation, your cream will just be exact um, um, amount of or number of batch that you, you are making. So it means that your, your measurement is actually accurate. So I, I will just check the temperature of the cream before i had in my cool down phase okay so i have 42 centuries so i think it's okay for me to add my propylene glycol and, and all that vitamin e and glycerin
so when it's the temperature is below 40 degrees i'll just add in lastly my preservative okay so now i'll just go in with my preservative um the preservative i'm using is um liquid jammer plus it's a broad spectrum preservative for So I'll just be using 0.3%. So the, the 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 base cream is gonna be a lot more thicker when it's you know totally cool. Right now it's still warm. So I'm just going to go in for the first time with my mixer just to mix a little you mix a little then you stop and um you mix again so in order not to introduce too much air bubbles into your cream okay guys so here is my organic lightning base cream if you find this video helpful in any way please thumbs up for me it will help my video a lot and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i turn on the notification bell so you get notified each time there is a video coming up from me thank you so much for watching this this content see you in my next video bye